it's Sally from ColouringQueen.net and today I want to show you a colouring book based on the artwork of Alphonse Mucha, a Czech painter and his work is very well known. You would have seen it in other colouring books as well. This one is A4 sized. It's the fantasy colouring book. It's got a lovely glossy dust jacket on it. Dust jacket folds out and it's just a lovely little candy striped, uh, lovely little blue striped cover on there. Very plain in consideration of what's to follow. Now here at the start of the book we've got this lovely fold out poster and this is based on one of his paintings and very dreamy looking and beautiful painting. On the reverse there's a little treat if you're brave enough and that is the liner for the painting. So if you are brave enough to tackle that picture and colour it in uh, then you can do so as well. And this is really an art book as well as a colouring book and as such because of the coloured template coloured plates in here it's probably a little bit more expensive than your other colouring books but it is very beautiful. Now at the start of the book we've got all of these coloured illustrations that are featured as line art in the book and his work is just stunningly beautiful. Under each image you can see the artwork or the painting that this is based on. So this is Zodiac which is very well known and that image at the front was uh, this one over here. And so all of the line art that's in here you can see the beautiful coloured plates for in thumbnail version here. So that's it for the coloured aspect of it. And now we move to a different type of paper and we have the line art illustrations. Now this is printed on a medium white paper and it's very smooth, extremely smooth. This is a different sort of paper that I've seen um, from other colouring books. It's very smooth and it's a medium quality. Now it's a pity that it's in Japanese because I would have liked to know more about this paper. On the reverse there is detail about the picture, so this is Sarah Bernhardt poster for magazine La Plume, which I believe was a French magazine, could be wrong. And then we've got these two beautiful illustrations, they're very very detailed. And to get the look that you know he gets in his paintings would be very difficult unless you are skilled with all the blending and other techniques but it doesn't mean that you can't have fun and enjoy this book even if you don't have those sort of painterly type colouring skills. You can still have fun and colour it your own way. You don't have to colour it Alphonse's way. Now because some of the line art is quite fine and very detailed, it may not be suitable for all colourists, particularly if you have a minor visual impairment or if you have uh, problems with, say, arthritis. Now this one's got a nice cutout here that would make a great spot to put a, a picture in. Some of them have more open spaces, but in order to get that effect, uh, the painterly sort of look you really need to be quite skilled with blending and whatnot it's not to say that you can't color it and just have fun but you'll get a better result if you do know some techniques now these are really really small details so people with a visual impairment it's not really a good book uh, for you because it'll just cause you a lot of challenges that may take the fun out of it. But the coloured images at the front sort of make this part art book as well and it's even at 
if you didn't want to colour it. It's still a book that you could enjoy and just really love because of that gorgeous artwork. Now at the back we've got a little dotted line. It's not perforated to cut out these little frames and uh, postcards and maybe we want to send those off. This looks like it's a little box that you can make to put your biscuits in which is very cute. And these are some little bookmarks. So we've got four little bookmarks. Now at the back we've got another one of these gorgeous fold out posters. And that's a stunning, stunning artwork. And on the reverse, if you are brave enough to tackle it, you can colour that in as well and create your own poster. So we've got the two fold out posters, we've got the little bookmarks and postcards, and of course we've got the beautiful artwork of Czech painter Alphonse Mucha. The links to buy it are below the video. To see all the buying options, please click the show more button. Until next time, happy colouring.